Well, hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. So today we're gonna play with watercolor again and being very expressive, painting watercolor rooster. Yes, I go over this step by step, how to get more expressive with your watercolor, playing with your watercolor, talking about playing, you know, being more expressive. It's really kind of simple. I'll break it down for you how I just take a simple shape like this rooster and go crazy with his little feathers. If you're a Patreon member, you get the bonus rooster here. Uh, and you also get the traceables for both roosters. If you want to know what Patreon is, it's a place people go and support my channel. I have extra extensive tutorials that are from YouTube, uh, exclusive tutorials that are only on Patreon, uh, live stream in the top tier. We have a Facebook group with weekly challenges, monthly giveaways, things like that. And they get first dibs on work, watercolor workshops and retreats. And you can find that link in the description box below. Just click the words, show more, and it drops down. You can find all my description of my supplies and where I get my supplies and the Patreon link. But without further ado, let's get painting a rooster. cock a doo doo, -doo. <laughs> Wake you up and have some fun. All right, so let me just go over some supplies that I'll be using. I just drew in a super loose rooster. You can find rooster um, vector images or silhouettes kind of thing on the, on the internet and you can just kind of Go by that but we're not going to actually paint a perfect little silhouette maybe just for like the face and the nose and that this little gibble thing whatever they call it um i don't have i put it on arsh 100 percent cotton cold pressed paper and i have my paints here i always put them in the description box as i use them and i'll be using my princeton 12 neptune series maybe use an eight i mean excuse me a 10 velvet touch round series which is a little stiffer brush and that's about it so this is just really um, painting like animals in a more expressive way uh, as opposed to just like a you know simple straightforward perfect um, realistic way again I like the expression like kind of we do, like we did with the apples that I have a few tutorials back you can use um, pencils for this I have Karen Dash watercolor pencils also that maybe you might want to play with you know but just um, just try different things right so first I'm gonna just loosen up some paint i'm gonna have my uh this is paints gray here i get it pretty loose i have this wonderful cadmium red light which is a perfect I think the little rooster here also pyro red which is over here which is like a more deeper red but the cadmium red light's nice color too just get that loose and again we're going to be doing some fun splattering etc cam excuse me cadmium yellow deep keep that nice color bright you can make some orange, we're adding the red with it. Think of colors that you like to have for your rooster. You know, just like that. So I've got a bunch of colors all mixed up. At first, I think I'm just gonna start the body it would be more of a gray tone. Just kind of loosely painting it in like this. I'm gonna grab some more water so it's wet on dry right now. This paper is dry. Grabbing more water, click, click. See, it's very puddly here. Just kind of loosely filling that in, this body. Going like that. All the way up into here where the red part will be. Very, very wet. It's almost like a puddle here. And then I'll just take some little sprays and kind of go like this with the brush. Just pulling that gray color up there. While it's still damp and wet, we can grab some of this paint's gray. We can do some little tapping of color you know, around his face. Maybe loosen it up a little more so it's more of a medium gray by adding more water. And we can play around with this a little bit. We can move this paint around, see? Just tapping it, lifting the uh, pad up and moving it around. Play with this. Get some fun little textures going on there by just moving the paint around. You can just tap in some dark color too it could be like a spotted <laughs> rooster you know even if you wanted to splatter but you got to be careful not to get it everywhere so just like right in that section so it looks and, and the thicker the paint this is like butter it's like right out of the tube the less it's going to splatter you can kind of just have the dots moving about it will dissipate a little bit but it won't be like the serious splatter let you see. I'm going to move this down here, a little thicker paint on this leg. And you can kind of play with taking the paint a little thicker and going up and over, outward this way. 
So you get some dry brush effect here. Again, because it's not wet. See, just that whole expression of just pushing the paint out like this. Yeah. You can throw in some other colors that we have already mixed up in here. You know, maybe splatter some a little bit thicker red too. Whoops. I always do, I always kind of splatter it on top of another brush. Look at that. Really kind of fun, right? This whole, boom, that's it. Um, I wouldn't even do this part until this is a little bit dry because of the fact that it's just going to bleed into color. So we can play with some orange color that I mixed up here. I'm going to make my yellow all dirty, but that's okay. Again, feathers, right? Get a little bit looser. So that whole kind of whew, technique, a feather, maybe a nice feather, kind of spiral around like that. Have some expression. Get them that yellow. Really kind of, um, I wouldn't say super thick, but it's not really, really wet. You can play with the consistency and the, like the feathering of this whole spiel. And then get a nice red in there. I'm mixing the pie roll with the um, cadmium red light. And we got some nice feathering going on here. It was crazy feathers. Maybe a little more pie roll red. The tail. Look at that. Already, it's already fun. I'm going to loosen up some um, burnt umber here. I want to do some browns. So here's a little feather kind of coming out this way. You know, he's not just one, one note rooster <laughs> coming out. Playing with that. Adding some brown. Get a little more expression. You can confront, pull the paint down a little bit. See, I'm just kind of pulling it down like this. It's brown, so that the ground area has something to go. Pushing this around a little bit. Now this should settle in a little bit. I'm just checking if it's really wet because I don't want the red to bleed into the black because I feel like that wouldn't be pretty. So now we have these like strokes that are like we can make them more expressive. We can mush them a little bit. We can add some gray into there. Taking the paint's gray, kind of pushing it up in there. Some of it will bleed into it. Gets a little more deeper. And then I'm gonna grab some reds and yellows. Again, you can do some splattering there too. We're getting expressive with our little rooster guy. And you can get, you know, expressive with the once these drives can go back on top of them to add some more depth I, the colors are kind of getting muddy and melding more so you want to wait till that completely dries and then go back on top and add color meanwhile down at the farm here <laughs> i'm going to add some like yellows the ground yellows and browns and i'll finish his legs in a bit but see how very expressive this is all getting i'm clanking because i'm going back into the with the water with my brush, tapping a paper towel here, kind of mushing the paint a little bit now. Getting more expressive on how I want it to look. Maybe I don't want that brown there, so I'm kind of removing it, tapping it, lifting it, back in the paper towel. And I can add some paints gray or some of the feathers in there. And of course, you can add yellow and all kinds of kind of fun colors in this too. It doesn't have to be just gray. It was really simple. It took like five seconds to do all this part. So once you have this kind of down, if you want to add a little more brown, something like that, I'm going to let this dry. And we can come back and we'll start to fill in like the, the feet and this part, his gobble gobble part. <laughs> So this part's all dry and it's kind of like, I, I didn't really want it to be darker on the edges and lighter in the middle. So I'm gonna add some more color in a bit, but I do wanna do his little gobble gobble part. And I wanna move some of this gray that's just flowing down into my red. Just messing up my red. Bye bye gray. Okay, I can make my, more, my red more like a deeper red by adding the pie roll. 
just loosening this up a little bit. This is the consistency of cream to milk and then putting in the little gobble. Gobble going around the eye. I'm using the number eight, I mean, excuse me, number 10 Velvet Touch Series round. It's a little stiffer brush, a little more control. And here it can kind of get loose again. So we have this, this is a little bit more structured here with the little gobble, gobble thingy. And uh, <laughs> someone will know what it is, but. And then here you can get real fun with it and just kind of do like the same thing with the feathers. Here's the little crown part. So I use this stiffer brush for this particular area because I want a little more control. Don't have to use it for the rest of it, but just for that part. And for the beak, nice gray black. So I'm gonna mix some paints gray with some burnt umber. Go in there. Kind of be careful not to get it too close there so it bleeds. I'll leave a little white on there. If you can see this, I'm leaving a little white. Not painting the whole thing, giving it a nice little tip. And then for the eye, we'll wait till this dries and go back in and do the eye because it will just bleed black into all that. And we don't want that. So, I'm going to remove some of this red. I'm going to play around with going back with my gray using his little feet too. So, here we go over this color, his little feet. Just filling it in with gray. I'm using the 12 Neptune series. Just go like this. It's like a little line, a couple little sticks basically. And his feet, you can make them in yellow if you want. Have fun with it. So, like I said, get a little more serious and then kind of play with it. So now I've added more gray. I'm going to go back in here and add more gray up here. A little more gray, get a little more expressive. Going to go over some of the stuff. So it kind of blends nicely. I can splatter that too to add some fun to that area. That's kind of cool, right? And I don't want them standing in the middle of nowhere with like no shadow, so I'll add a little burnt umber to the paint gray and kind of go like give them a little shadow kind of happening there. And then we'll play with the tail a little more. That bright red. Kind of go off the page if you want. You can even add like a nice blue color. I think it'd be kind of fun to just go out of your comfort zone with some color. I'm gonna grab this uh, ultramarine blue, very bright. Throw in a little blue. I mean, it's an expression of your rooster. If you wanna put blue in there, put blue in there. You can put it in his little tail connecting. Nobody's gonna know. <laughs> and it's really kind of fun, right? I like the splatter part the most. Gonna get some more yellow in here. Really just kind of get in there. Splatter the yellow, the orange. Having fun with that. And then when that's all dry, I feel like it's got really dark kind of melded in here. A little too much, I can lift up some of that blacky brown color. Yeah, that looks good. And then just go and do the eye. Um, fill it in. I use a stiffer brush because we'll control. Now I'm grabbed the number eight long round. Just go around the circle with the paints gray, leave a little white for his eyeball, and there you go, there's your rooster. You can get a little more technical with the feet too, get a little pointy, a little claw. That's if you want to do that, you don't have to do that. A little dry brushing helps too. And add a little couple little specks, kind of playing around up here, get a little darker, do some little lines. And the beak get a little closer now this is dry. That's pretty much it. I mean this seems a little flat, but that's fine if you want to add some more depth to that red. You can add some deeper red color and kind of go in here and play with that. I kind of like 
some of it not that way, but you can go ahead and play with that. And that's it. Get that red in there. Woo! You can make like real feathers, like little lines going like this. There's feathers. It'd be kind of fun. See how expressive that was? I didn't even use the pencils. <laughs> I talked about them, I didn't use them. If you want to go ahead and use the pencils, go ahead and take some of them and draw using them. Like here I got the like a brown pencil. It's kind of fun just to play with some of that. Um, I've got a black pencil somewhere. Gray. I don't know where my black pencil is. Oh, here it is. Go into the gray area, use the black pencil, draw. Again, expressive. That's what it's all about. And there you go. There's your fun little rooster. Cockle doodle do. Have fun. You know, splatter different colors. It doesn't have to be, like I said, just all oranges and stuff like that. You can add blues to make it more interesting and more expressive. And like I said, the Patreon members get extended vision because they have another rooster they get to do. And if you want to be a Patreon member, click the link below in the description box to join. So I hope you had fun playing with roosters and expressive painting. Um, it's really just, you know, figuring out new ways to play with watercolor that that makes you like more expressive. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. I appreciate it. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.